Welcome back, I'm Rob Lang and this is my game Clomper. You live inside a mechanical ladybird called a Clomper, which you can control by laying pipes to power machines with steam. The outside world is a hellscape that you explore from inside the Clomper, picking up resources and completing quests. If that sounds like fun, like and subscribe for more. I ended the last devlog on a bug. As I uploaded the video to the tubes, I realised what the bug was. Light bulb moments happen with certain kinds of bug. I'm going to take you through my process of elimination, and to help with that, let me introduce you to the bug rarity meter. This end are common bugs, and this end are rare bugs. The most common bugs are easy to hunt. It won't compile because you've forgotten what C-sharp looks like. The squiggles are your friend. Then there are typos in magic strings because Unity is afraid of too much type safety. These are a pain to find. You've copied and pasted from Stack Overflow and you have no idea what it does. You're duplicating your own code, but you forget to change something important. Let's glance at some rare bugs. I usually discount these entirely. They include places where a professional quality assurance team have been through the software, such as bugs in professionally built packages, or bugs in the Unity editor or engine, which is a favorite for people on forums. And the last bastion of blaming someone else, bugs in C Sharp. These bugs do occur, but if you're using long-term support versions of software, it's unlikely to be these. So that leaves us with the middle ones. Not easy to spot, but probably still caused by you. Nothing fills me with bile quite like forgetting that the Unity editor overrides code values. Change c -sharp value all you like, but if it's a public member variable, then Unity will probably have overridden it for you. Thanks for that. You may have refactored, not realizing that some loosely coupled part of the system will only fail at runtime. Unity, after all, is the land that dependency injection forgot. You may cause a bug by doing something that has a side effect, such as causing frame rate drop by calling find objects by name in update. You may have misunderstood the framework, assuming it does one thing and really it does another. Or the code is complex and you didn't spend enough time remembering what you wrote before you added a new feature. And that's the problem I had. Do any of these ring true for you? Let me know down in the comments you're welcome to moan and rant, I won't mind. My environment is infinite, but your computer isn't. So as the clomper moves through the world, I add new tiles and remove old ones. Here you can see new tiles being added, and more importantly, when a tile is far from the clomper, it's removed. When the new quest system puts a tile down in the world, I needed it to stay there until the quest is completed but the quest system put the tile so far from the clomper that the environment deletes it on the next frame. So the quest system made another, which got deleted, which gave that flickering disco effect of deletion and recreation. The fix was to introduce the idea of a protected tile, which stopped the environment from deleting it too early. When the quest is completed, the tile is unprotected and the environment system can delete it safely. More than 500 of you have hit subscribe. I am now forced to accept that it's not just my mum creating fake YouTube accounts anymore. Thank you everyone. This is also my 40th devlog and I want to do something more than just moan about bugs. But I've been hit with migraines these past few weeks so I've had to postpone anything more impressive than this. Thank you all for your support. The familiar faces, the old faces, the new faces, the desynced faces, the oddly caricatured cartoon faces, and the faces stretched over an AI like a Canadian episode of Black Mirror. 
you're all very welcome, thank you. A like and a sub would give me the kind of thrill so rare for a man my age, so please do. Until next time, stay safe. Bye bye.